Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. Today is a very exciting unboxing. I did it. I got them. They finally came in the mail. Well, okay, not today. They came in the mail like a few weeks ago, but they finally arrived. So long story short, I bought them back in November. They were on a pre-order, which is why I was able to get a discount on them, I guess, because then Luisa Villaroma knows how many orders they need to like request for when they buy them. And then they're supposed to arrive early February and then February came around and I guess because of the pandemic, there's a lot of like shipment and supplier delays. So then they delayed it by two weeks, so mid-February. And then at mid-February, I got an update that like, oh, nope, they're not gonna come in till 1st of March. And then 1st of March rolled around. And then I got another update that was like, oh, nope, sorry, they're still stuck for another two weeks. So they're not gonna arrive until like mid-March. And then mid-March rolled around, I got another update again. And they're like, nope, not gonna get them till the end of March. So they were like two months delayed on top of the pre-ordering. So I was just like really anxious because it's never taken me that long to get something after I paid for it. I was like, oh my God, what if these don't arrive on time for my wedding? I'm gonna be screwed. Well, not screwed. I could probably just find any other pair of shoes to wear. It's not the end of the world. But I was like, I purposely bought these for the reception. And if I can't wear them, what else would I ever wear these like over the top shoes ever again? Which is probably the reason why I should be buying them because I can't fathom myself wearing them for any other purpose. But I just had this look and this entire outfit that I crafted into my head because my reception dress also has some like sparkly bits on it so I was like it's gonna fit perfectly like you have to get them big they came in and I'm happy as you can see I'm making this video so they have came in and yeah so let's just unbox them so this was a very unnecessary but totally necessary purchase at least in my head and that's how I'm gonna rationalize it I got the Mac and Mac heels and I know I know a lot of you guys are gonna probably say but Vic the hype is over they've been good for the past year You've been good without them. Why do you need them now? Okay, well, I actually paid for these back in like November. That's almost, whoa, that's like six months ago. Okay, it's been a long time. They were supposed to arrive beginning of February. They were on a pre-order. I purchased them off of Luisa Via Roma. They were offering 30% off um, all the new stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't know when I'm ever gonna get these heels at this much of a discount. So let's just take the plunge and buy them. Honestly, I was still like fully into like, trying to replan the wedding again and I wanted a pair of shoes that were like probably a little bit comfier to dance in for the dancing portion of the evening. I don't know why I thought that heels that are taller than my reception heels were gonna be comfier, but I'm happy to say and I have tried them on just so I can tell you guys how I feel about these really quickly as a first impression that these are actually quite comfortable when it comes to wearing them. Yes, I purposely used the excuse the wedding to allow myself to buy these. I did get the super sparkly ones you guys will see in a second and they totally, completely, 100% live up to the entire hype of the shoes. So I think they're a good investment. I got them for 30% off. I don't know when I would ever get 30% off of these shoes ever again. So yeah, let's just unbox them because that's probably what you're waiting for. I already have a pair of shoes for my wedding. They are the white Lurum Manolo Blahnik. And I wanted a different pair of shoes for my reception dress because it's such a different dress and it's short. I'll let you guys know right now. My reception dress is a lot shorter, a lot more fun. So we want to go like the very fun over the top route. And if I was to buy these shoes for every day, I don't know if I actually would have taken the plunge to purchase them because I have no excuse to wear these shoes out to anywhere. I felt like, okay, at least I can wear them to my wedding at least once and wear them down the road again if I ever decide to go. I mean, maybe for my bachelorette girls trip next year at some point. They're a good excuse, great price. So I was like, let's do it. They are, I haven't worn them anywhere yet. I probably won't wear them anywhere until the wedding, just transparently because, you know, I have nowhere to go with them between now and then. So they still have all their tags on them, which is what I want to tell you guys. They're nice and beautifully packaged with lots of tissue paper. Can we also just mention how adorable the pink boxes are? It gives me really like acne vibes. The Cult Gaia boxes, I think, are also this like nice light salmon pink. Really, really cute. Anyways, I digress. Let's go back to the shoes. All right, so here's the box. I'm gonna take out some of the tissue tissue paper that kind of like helps pad the shoes. And the shoes come in these like adorable pink little dust bags. It's not silk or satin. It's definitely some like cheap polyester. Honestly, for a brand like this, I probably thought they would have spent a little bit more with their packaging and made it a little bit cuter, but you know, dust bags are not the quintessential reason you buy the shoes. They're just a cute accessory to protect your shoes. So I'm okay with that. So this is dust bag one and each shoe has its own dust bag, which is nice. So you don't have to stack the two shoes into one bag, which I kind of hate that brands do sometimes because then the shoes just end up rubbing against each other. That's the last thing you want with these shoes because they're quite delicate. So there is a Louisa Vieroma tag attached to these. So it's kind of one of those, like once you remove it, you can't return it situations. I'm okay with it. I fully intend to keep these, so I probably should just cut these off. But are you guys ready? Are you ready for the moment? 
Ta-da! Oh, well, I can't really show you this because it has all the packaging on it. Let me just take this off and I'll be right back. So in the process of taking out the packaging, I figured let's just take them off both of the shoes so I can show you what they look like. These are the beautiful stunners. So I got them in the glittery silver color with the wraparound ankles and the bows. I don't remember the exact name of these ones, so I will link them down in the description box for you guys if you want to purchase them as well. Mine were from Louisa Via Roma because they did have 30% off, but I'll try to find them from different sites. So in the case you want to purchase them from somewhere else, you you can but I'll try to find these ones in stock if I can I haven't really worn these anywhere yet like I said but I did try them on just to see how comfy they actually were and I was surprised by how comfortable they were so I actually I think I think I got the 100 height. There's like a 110 height that's a little bit too much for me, but this one's actually fairly comfortable for the height that it is. The heel is very manageable and there's actually quite a lot of space in the shoe toe box compartment up here. One thing I did want to note is that everybody has reviewed these online as being super comfortable, but they're also really fragile and I'm not joking when I say they are fragile, especially this style. I originally was looking for the white silver ones, but then I wasn't too sure if they looked way too bridal and I wasn't sure if I would regret having them after the wedding because I don't know where else I would wear them to. Plus my Manila Blahniks are already like a white satin silk as is and I don't need two like satin shoes. That's just a lot. I know I'm gonna get them really dirty so I figured let's just go all out and get these super sparkly ones. I can also wear these when I go partying in the future. Not that I really go partying that much nor would I take these partying anywhere nice that I would want to damage my shoes. I have specific partying shoes that I don't worry about getting dirty. These are the shoes. The glitter on the sparkles do really come off. It's not like a material. It's literally like a sparkle glued onto this. So when you touch it, I do get some sparkles on my fingers and it does rub off and stuff. So you are gonna be a glitter bomb. That's definitely something to keep aware of. The rope on these is fairly strong. I think it comes with like a little bag of crystals. So if they ever do fall off, you can replace them. So that's something you definitely wanna keep in mind. And I've also read a lot of reviews online that the back strap here, when you wrap them around your feet and the crystals rub against each other, they actually can potentially fall off. So. Be careful of that. I haven't worn them yet, like I said, so I can't necessarily say if that has happened to me, but I think it's part and parcel of these shoes and the wear and tear that come with them, so be ready for that. You may see little black dots along the bands when the crystals fall off. All in all, I am obsessed. Like, how could you not be? These shoes are such a work of art. I've seen some of the new Macamac collections recently and they're a little out there. These are probably the most outrageous shoes that I probably will and ever will own, just because they're so over the top and I usually like more like, staple everyday ones that I can wear a lot, but they're so stunning and I cannot wait to wear these. I am essentially over the moon overjoyed. I keep having to brush off glitter from my fingers. That's how glittery and how much glitter these things shed. I did also notice that the bottom is very flat. So I might actually take these to Caners uh, in Yorkville to get them to reface the bottom, protect them so I can wear them without slipping because these have zero grip on them. And I know for sure I will probably step on something and slip and kill myself. It's just very smooth leather. So not the best idea. And I don't know, it just pains me to take a knife and to like go crazy in the bottom of these. Like I know some people usually do for like really smooth shoes. So I trust Caners and I'm probably gonna go get some bottom protectors from them just to like take care of them anyway. So that's gonna be the next step of what I need to do with these shoes to take care of them. But I'm so excited to break these out for my wedding. How stunning are these? The newest addition to my designer shoe collection. I haven't bought any designer shoes in a long time. I had the Dior loafers on my wish list for a long time, but I decided to hold back on those so I could get these ones for the wedding because these are much more of a priority. And once we go to Italy for our honeymoon and Camilla's wedding, I can go ham while shop there. Probably the goal. I'll probably get the Dior ones while I'm there anyways. Love them. So beautiful. They are such a work of art. Chef's kiss, and I will have to come back and do a full review of them at some point to let you guys know whether or not they're worth it. I know the trend for these Mac Max Markley heels have probably definitely been overdone, but for myself, I don't see them as a trend piece. I literally see them as a work of art piece, which is why I'm so happy to have them in my closet now. I know I'm probably gonna get comments from people asking me why I did not try them on for this video and you would have much more appreciated this video if I had tried them on. Um, transparently guys, I'm not going to just because I don't wanna damage them before the wedding. I want them to look as good as possible for the photos and I don't want any rhinestones to potentially fall off. So yes, I will be back for sure after the wedding to give you a full rundown or breakdown as to my actual thoughts on these and if they were comfortable after wearing them for like hours and hours on end and if I would recommend them for the time being as a 
first impressions. I think they are beautiful. They are very well done and well constructed, minus the complaints that people have about the crystals falling off. That hasn't happened to me yet because they are brand new. But yeah, keep an eye out for a review once I've gotten the chance to wear these and play around with them and to determine whether or not they really are up to the hype. But I personally think they're up to the hype because I got a great steal on them. If I had to pay a full price, I arguably would probably feel different. Who knows? But yeah, at the moment, I am over the moon in love. I can't wait to wear these to the wedding. And yeah, keep an eye out for all the photos because this is probably going to spam your feed with pictures of these shoes once I wear them for the wedding. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and kind of like a softbox unboxing of my wedding reception shoes. Let me know what you guys think of them. And if you own yourself a pair, I was hemming and hawing over some other ones, but I don't know guys, do you think I made the right decision of getting these sparkly silver ones instead of the white ones? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. The competing one was also the, I think they're called the Jimmy Choo Av Avalines. The one with like the huge bows. But I've also heard that those ones are like an accident waiting to happen because the bows are so huge you can like essentially trip on them when you're walking. So I was like, mm -mm, no, this girl has bad ankles enough as it is already. We're not going to try to trip on those. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's really quick and short unboxing. Stay tuned and come back for a review video once I've had the chance to wear them in and get them into rotation a little bit more. Very excited to wear them. You guys can't really tell. I'm like giddy with excitement right now. <laughs> Make sure you guys are subscribed. That way you don't miss the video once it goes live of my review of the actual shoes in a few months time. And if you guys do want to see more of me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok to find more content more frequently since I do post in here only once a week now at 7 p.m. EST. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.